Here's the thing. I never thought I'd set out to make a video that's gonna be this long for something this tiny. Let's get started. What's up guys, Lord Hazen here, back again with another video and today we're going to be looking at the Mi Band 6 from Xiaomi. Now if you're in the market for a fitness tracker, the Mi Bands as a whole are leading the pack um, in that segment and this is the latest um, iteration of Xiaomi's uh, smart health monitoring fitness trackers. In this video we're going to give it an unboxing and I'm going to give you guys a full tour of the Mi Band 6, take you through the specs, what it can do, what it can't do, the improvement it brings from the Mi Band 5, and uh, we're gonna give it a rating at the end of um, of this review. So, best place to start this is going to be the unboxing process. The unboxing process of the Mi Band 6 is pretty straightforward. You get the smart band itself, the charging dock, and that's just about it. The user manual is pretty thick for a tiny smart band, but that's because it's got a ton of languages, instructions in a ton of languages um, to get you started with the Mi Band 6. Now, if you're looking to pick up the Mi Smart Band 6, you're gonna be getting it in the ballpark of $50. Xiaomi actually had this offer on their website a couple of weeks ago actually where you could send them the serial number to your Redmi Note 10 Pro or your Redmi 9T if I'm not wrong and they'd give you a huge percentage of your smart band. So I don't know if it's still there but be sure to check that out if you want to pick this up and you've got a Xiaomi phone. That then segues us to the setting up process of the Mi Band Smart 6. Now, here's the thing, yeah? I have got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. These names, man, these names. And I was looking forward to seeing that sort of magic, harmonious pairing between these two because they are both Xiaomi products, but I had some difficulty pairing uh, the Smart Band to uh, my phone. So here's the thing, yeah? First of all, the Mi Band Smart 6 pairs to any Android phone or Apple phone for that matter through the Mi Fit app. So you download the Mi Fit app to your phone, you sign up for an account. If you've got a Xiaomi account already, you just sign in with that. Click add a new device, add a smart band, and the phone turns on Bluetooth to start detecting um, the smart band. Here's the thing, yeah. I noticed this. I took this out of the box, it was at 20% um, charge. That didn't allow it to pair to my phone so i had to charge it all the way to 100 percent before this could be detected by my phone and even then at 100 percent it still wasn't detected by my phone and the app prompted me to restart my phone and after the restart i was able to pair um, this to my Xiaomi phone we are going to get deeper into the MiFit app later on in this video but that's your lot when it comes to the setup pairing process if you do experience that um glitch in pairing the smart Band 6 to your phone a restart should solve the problem so let's segue to the design of the mi smart Band 6. Now, over here, I have got the black uh, version of the Mi Smart Band 6. You can pick it up in different colors, a ton of colors actually, or pick up one color and change the strap after the fact. Up front is where we see the biggest design change on the Mi Band 6, okay? This year, we've got a full 1.56 inch AMOLED screen coming from last year's, which was 1.3 inches, if I'm not wrong, and had a physical home button. This doesn't have that. Everything is operated um, via the touch screen. And something I noticed is when you look at the band from an angle, you kind of pick up the lack of symmetry between the bezels at the top and bottom. The bottom bezel is thicker than the top bezel and side bezel. So 
it might bug your OCD, but it's something you don't pick up um, easily unless you're actually looking for it. You do operate every function of the smart band through that screen, and we're gonna get to that in a few. But it's pretty colorful, it gets super bright, and you do get a couple of display settings where you can toggle um, brightness levels for during the day and night mode where the screen dims itself to not uh, hurt your eyes when using this in the dark. Pretty interesting. Oh, and you can use the screen as a torch. Jump me through that feature in there. And uh, turning the band over, you get all your sensors, your heart rate, SPO2 uh, sensors at the back, and the strap is still made of rubber. Cool. The next thing I want to talk about is actually the health and fitness features, because ultimately, that's the kind of objective you set out for when you go to get this band. It's supposed to track your health and encourage a healthier lifestyle, and they really improved a lot on that this year. So previously on the Mi Band 5, I think we saw about 10 to 12 different workouts on there, but this one now has 30. So if you want to do something like Zumba workout or want to do a high intensity interval training, or if you're street dancing or playing badminton and you want to track that with this device, there are now 30 different exercises you can track. Out of those 30, there are six that are automatically tracked, example, walking and swimming. When it comes to sensors, we have the accelerometer on here that works as a pedometer. It'll try to count strokes when you're swimming or steps when you're walking. And it also tracks your heart rate, your blood oxygen levels, and is connected to GPS when you have it paired to your phone. So if you're running or cycling with your phone, you will be able to get GPS data from it. This also has some enhanced sleep tracking, which uses the SPO2 sensor to track blood oxygen and estimate the breathing quality while you're sleeping. And this might be a good reference to figure out if you have sleep apnea or something like that. Basically, it gives you an idea of how good you're sleeping in different conditions. I've become a big fan of this sleep tracking feature and it's pushed me to better my sleep every day. In the app, you get different sleep starts, like when you started sleeping, when you woke up, how deep your sleep was, how long it was, a short period of the night you had light sleep or deep sleep, and how your sleep compares to other people. On top of that, we have the smart heart rate monitoring feature. This will track your heart rate all day based on whatever interval you set within the app. Example, from 1 minute up to 30 minutes. If you're trying to save battery, you'd have it set to once every 30 minutes, which doesn't make a ton of sense. So like me, you want to have it set to once every minute. It will also notify you if your heart rate is above a certain threshold that you set in the app. The Mi Band 6 is targeted at people that are looking for a healthier lifestyle. It could be to just work out and keep fit or to lose weight. A feature targeted at that is what Xiaomi call Pi. Personal Activity Intelligence in full. Pi just uses a lot of the information that the band collects, like how often you walk, how often you work out, your heart rate and stuff like that, and it gives you an index score from 0 to 100. The higher your score, the healthier and active you're living. On top of that, you also have stress tracking, you've got breathing exercises, and you have female cycle tracking, which of course I can't test out for you guys. So let's actually get into some testing now. Now, to test the accuracy of the Mi Smart Band 6, I went out and got this, okay? This is a pulse oximeter. It basically measures your SpO2 levels and your heart rate. Now, I put this against this, and over a couple of readings, the results were quite consistent, okay? Most of the times, it's a plus or minus 2 accuracy level to the pulse oximeter that I've got here. And even though they do give you a disclaimer that this isn't in any way, shape or form going to replace um, medical equipment, it's just for illustration. It does do a pretty good job to keep up, um, keep really close to the consistency and accuracy you get from dedicated uh, tech equipment for medicinal purposes. What am I saying? <laughs> Straight off the bat, I've got to say, the Mifit app is well built. It's stable, easy to understand, and so convenient to use with the Mi Band 6. Pairing to a fitness tracker, be it a smartwatch or a smart band, is pretty straightforward, as mentioned previously, so no worries there. On the dashboard, it's going to tell you how many steps you took today, your stress level, your heart rate, SPO2 levels and stuff like that. And if you go over to the profile section, you can tap on your device and here you can change a lot of settings uh, from your Mi Band 6. You can go to the store and it's going to allow you to choose from tons of different watch faces to sync to your smart band. 
In the notification section, you can choose what notifications to vibrate on your wrist and how they vibrate on your wrist. You might not want emails to vibrate on your wrist, but you may want text or call alerts too, so you can do that all from here. There is also health monitoring for when you want to set up some certain things. Example, you want to track your heart rate at different intervals and set the thresholds, you will do that all from here. As you tinker around with the Mifit app, you're going to come across pop-up warnings saying that turning on some features for your band will have an impact on battery life. And so, this is a perfect segue for us to talk about battery. Xiaomi are promising a 14-day battery life with the Mi Band 6, which is very optimistic and frankly speaking, easily achievable if you're not using the Smart Band 6 for notifications, brightness turned all the way to the maximum, and a long interval of heart rate monitoring. Turn the heart rate monitoring frequency to by the minute, for example, and you'll see the battery take a hit. At some point, with max settings taking full capability of my Mi Band 6, I managed to knock the battery down from 100% to 77% in just 18 hours, with sleep tracking included. Consequently, I ran out of battery after 8 days of such usage. Charging the band from 0 to 100 takes 1 hour, so no worries here. Oh, and the charging watch phase is so cool. A couple of things to note here is you can't store or stream music on here even though there is music playback controls. That's because this doesn't have any kind of Bluetooth to connect headphones, it's only gonna be connecting to your phone. Another thing to note is that this doesn't have any external apps so you can't sideload apps or watch faces from third party sources. It's a real typical smart band. As far as software goes, if you're not using MIUI that's on Xiaomi phones, then you won't get the phone unlock feature. There is also no underwater mode for when you're showering with the band, but it does turn the screen off when it detects that you're swimming. There is also no always-on display on the Smart Band 6 at this time. That then leaves us with one thing, our sponsor. Buy the Xiaomi Mi Band 6 and other tech products of your choice from banggood.com. They make it easier for you to shop, check out and ship your products from anywhere you are in the world. Click the link in the description to find out more. So that's basically it on the Xiaomi Mi Smart Band 6. It's grown on me and so far so good. That's it for today, Lord Hazen here signing out. Thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know uh, what your thoughts are on the Mi Band 6, if it's something you can incorporate in your life, if it's something you can start using. Like this video, share this video with your friends, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't yet, we are going to 5,000 subs and uh, See you in the next one. Peace. I'm really not gonna cover the camera today. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna end it there.